Hi everybody, welcome back, Sip City. Here we are. We we, we spent the last episode in uh, San Francisco, well, at least ended the last episode in San Francisco. Uh, if you remember, we built the water pump over there, uh, which we should be able to supply water to. Uh, oh, look at how much is available. Oh god, that's going to be really good. We're going to need all this. Uh, we're going to buy water now from uh, San Francisco. Look at that. You can see it. Look, it looks a little bit like a big baseball stadium, uh, which is kind of cool. And look, you can see the water pump there in the distance. So let's buy some water. This is uh, really, really clean water as well. There's no industry in San Francisco, uh, so that's very good. Uh, and we should be okay. Uh, once the water starts trickling in, uh, as it should, well, once we go to llama speed anyway, it'll definitely start coming in. Uh, a lot of these places can open back up for business, like Jetsam Place and uh, all these other places that are currently without water, uh, like the Olive East Efficiencies. Fucking Olive East Efficiencies. Oh, look at that. We have more than 100,000 residents in Sip City right now. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. Good grief. Um, massive traffic problems. I don't know if you remember last episode and the episode before that. We were talking about really big uh, traffic issues. Uh, I think we managed to narrow it down, though, didn't we? We had... Um, these streetcars not covering this really, really big part of residential here. Um, and what we're going to do is feed another avenue down the middle here, add some streetcars to it, and hopefully get a little bit more coverage so that uh, more people can ride on streetcars, rely less on their actual automobiles, which would be very nice. Oh, it looks like um, Sipsco's finest, <laughs> Sipsco's finest, are, uh, are are dousing a blaze at the Morning Sun Apartments. Very good. Uh, so we got a little bit of work ahead of us. Uh, let's get to it. We're gonna have to knock down uh, a big section of the city here. Um, I was gonna say let's have it go up through here, but actually it probably make more sense to put it directly up the middle here and then coverage will be good on this side and this side uh, so let's try to do that we can try to follow this road it just means that we're gonna have to demolish a lot of the stuff along it it probably means that we're gonna go into the hole uh, even more than we are now uh, but what we're actually selling in terms of fuel plastics and oil is making up for the fact that we're losing 1,533 bucks an hour. So that's not a huge problem. Okay, so if I go into zones, uh, let's de-zone some of this stuff before I start knocking it down so that it doesn't just spring back up because that's really, really annoying. Uh, all of this, God, I can't believe it. And there's this road here too that's going to have to go. Uh, that's not the library, so that's okay. A couple of apartments and stuff. Uh, that looks like it's been... No, that is the library. What the hell am I talking about? We're gonna have to knock this thing down again. I can't believe it. Okay, this time I won't forget to replace it, though. It's only 10,000 bucks, so come on. I I'm just so flippant with my libraries. Like, yeah, here, just take a library. 10,000 bucks, who cares? Fuck, just have a library. See you later, library. I'll do it! It's gone. It's absolutely gone. Okay, we're gonna knock down all of this crap as well. Uh, like the Desperado Heights. I mean, trust me, I don't I don't want to actually do this right now, but it's got to be done, unfortunately. Uh, same with Middleton Towers. Really sorry, guys. Ontario North, I'm really sorry. Middleton Towers again, I'm very sorry. And uh, this, this building's just been abandoned for some reason. Uh, don't ask me why. Uh, we'll get rid of all of these here. We don't want this stuff rebuilding here, unfortunately. We also want to kill this road. Fine. Great. Uh, we want to kill some of these roads, too. What a mess. These people are going to be so pissed. <laughs> uh, it, it's just the way it goes. Look at that. We've dropped into the hole big time. Uh, that's okay. We're going to go for the high-density streetcar avenue. Uh, we're going to have it come all the way up here and connect at the end. Great. Knock down anything that was being built at the time. Uh, we're going to connect with some high-density roads like this. Great. Oh, look at this. That wasn't too bad. And look, the traffic's already starting to, to pile up here. Um, let's uh, immediately get some streetcar stops uh, installed in here so that we get... Oh, look at the coverage. It's much better. It's got to be said. Look at this. Right at the end, too. Oh, okay. Great. We're going to be shifting a ton of people now. Uh, still not quite covering like this area, but we can think about this area in a minute. We might have to do a little bit of the same. Maybe get like another uh, feeder avenue up here instead of this main road. Uh, but the coverage in here isn't too, too bad now. I mean, these people, people can just about walk to these stops. Uh, and then there's also the bus stops in here as well for people that live in the Tenderloin apartments. Oh, no. 
We've got an injury here in Tenderloin. Uh, that's a real shame. Uh, so we don't want anything on the actual avenue, which is fine. It looks like everything is building facing away from the avenue. Very good. Uh, less work for us to do. We need to replace this library. I'm not sure where the hell we're going to put it this time. Um, but I think maybe we should just place it down here uh, along with all this other crap. Oh, look at this. We can have it like right next to this park. Uh, and it's still not along this avenue. Oh, look. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is going to be like so happy. He can shoot some hoops. He can play some b-ball outside of the school. And then when he's done, he can go uh, read read about uh, famous basketball players in the library well, uh, amongst other things I mean come on it's it's not just basketball players uh, that they have books on in the library they've got books on all sorts of stuff in the library uh, so it's fine okay how's this traffic looking uh, so far from what I can tell it looks a little tiny bit better I could be wrong but uh, I got a feeling that these streetcars will have uh, with the extra coverage, added some more people, riders per day. It seems to have. Look at that. We've got 15,451 riders per day on the streetcars now. It's very good. Uh, we could do with some additional coverage up here for sure, actually. And I think that's that's going to happen. Uh, let's let this area build itself up again a little bit. Get out of the hole very slightly, and then we can concentrate on doing that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's see if there's... Oh, look at this. Yeah, there's an upgrade available. Fantastic. We gotta, we gotta keep on top of these, because this is the most important thing. Oh, shit. Uh, was that because... Oh, no! There's an earthquake! I... Oh, no! <laughs> right in the oil fields, too! That's the epicenter! All of our reserves! Oh, please. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, that's very bad. Oh, God. God hates me. Uh, and God hates me because I upgraded my mayor's mansion. Um, wow, that's like the second natural disaster to hit uh, Sip City. I don't know if you remember a while ago we had the um, tornado that ripped through. Damn it. We lost a lot of oil there. Uh, all of our... Uh, do we want to bulldoze the trade depot? Yeah, because it's dead. <laughs> and this oil well as well. I'll do it. Oh, oh look at these ones. They're all busted as well. We're going to have to go in here. And edit these suckers. Look at this. We're going to have to actually add more pump jacks to this. We lost a whole bunch of pump jacks. Oh, look. at We lost a whole bunch of delivery trucks, too. We're going to have to make sure that we recover from this disaster. I've got my my uh, my football jacket on or my, my helicopter rescue jacket on. Just like the president. You know, when there's, like, a really big natural disaster and he has to, like, turn up and he's wearing, like, his bomber jacket and stuff? That's me right now. Got my bomber jacket on. Uh, there's all the pump jacks back. Oh, my God. Look at the ground pollution. You can actually see it. Look at how bad it is. Oh, holy shit. Look at all the weeds and stuff. That is so bad. Um, I don't know if there's any point in getting this oil well set up again. Uh, and there probably isn't. I'm probably going to leave it. And, uh, actually, let's add some trees in here uh, so that we can start sucking up some of this pollution. Uh, it was just a matter of time before we got rid of all these uh, oil wells anyway. Oh, hey, look. It's like fall, I guess. Look at the different colored trees. I've never seen that before. Oh, look at this. Look at all these trees. Great. We're going to suck up all this ground pollution. It's going to be fantastic. Well, suck up as much of it as we can anyway. I don't know if these pump jacks necessarily like uh, trees growing like in between them. Uh, maybe the roots will uh, will interfere with the, uh, with the pumping process. I have no idea. Uh, but for now, uh, that should be fine. Uh, water, it looks like we're complaining about again, but we should be fine. Oh, look at this. There's probably a couple of places still missing some initially. Uh, but we've got more than enough out in the region, uh, which is very good. Traffic is still very, very bad. Is there any more damage from that earthquake? Uh, I can't see any. It was only really around here. Is the petroleum HQ okay? Yeah, it seems to be. Shuttle bus depot? Fine. Uh, there's no damaged pump jacks or anything, I don't think. Okay, great. Well, that wasn't too, too bad. We lost one oil well, and oh yeah, we need to get this trade depot back up and running as well. Okay, let's do that right now. So, trade depot, we want to set it up along here again. Uh, that was fine last time. Uh, let's go edit it. We'll need to add a sign to it, uh, as... As, as we do. And uh, let's get all of the delivery trucks. We're, we'll pimp this one out again. Look, our money's creeping back up into the green very slowly. And it was crude oil that we were storing in these. Okay, great. Let's get crude oil. Oh, let's try to make it like a bit more compact this time. Okay, great. And, and we want to get rid of this sucker as well. We don't want 
uh, people delivering to this trade depot when they've got that other one over there already. Okay. Uh, crude oil in there. Fine. And that should be fine. We can accept local crude oil deliveries and uh, do we want to sell it? No. Let's just use it locally uh, for now. Uh, we, we won't sell crude oil just on its own anymore because we'll stockpile it. Because uh, we're going to need some for the great works. I didn't realize that. But last time we were in San Francisco, it said that we need to actually deliver crude oil uh, to the work site as well, along with like workers and other shit. So we'll hang on to it. That's okay. Uh, because we're selling plastic and we're selling fuel, uh, we'll be absolutely fine. And we got way more than enough money. Sorry, I, um, I almost died there in real life. Uh, thankfully, the crisis was averted and I'm still here, able to talk my butt off while I play SimCity. Uh, okay, so traffic is very bad over here too. We're going to have to think about getting another uh, feeder avenue somewhere in here at some point. Uh, it's probably not high on the priority list at the moment though, because this area here is just the absolute worst. And actually, we can get rid of this now because we've got this feeder avenue here. We don't want people clogged because this is such a bad intersection, isn't it? And in fact, all of, all of this is terrible. We're cutting all of this off right now, but this is going to sort it out. Check this out right here. Bam. Get out of here. Look, they're all redirecting. Look, they've all gone the other way. Hey, what's going on here? Don't abandon. It'll be fine. I'll fix it. I promise. Oh, there's so many abandoned buildings. What's happened to this one? Just abandoned? Oh, out of money? Oh, but you poor bastards. You ran out of money. Uncle Phil's not out of money. Um, oh, it's because he's the best, though. Oh, shit, what's happened over here? Not enough places to ship freight. Oh, yeah. I think that's because... Where's this depot? There's a depot down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay. So, there's a bit of plastic in here that hasn't shipped. Uh, oh, I remember doing all this before. Okay, so we don't want plastic in here because we're not accepting plastic. Okay, let's just get rid of this plastic. Uh, it should be this one. Plastic storage. Great. We need to fix this. Uh, we're going to fix it right now by... We don't want crude oil either. We've got a couple... Okay, we're getting rid of all this crude oil. We've got more than enough crude oil storage up by the oil wells, which means that we can add freight shipping warehouses here. And there should never be a problem shipping freight uh, out of uh, Sip City now. There's always going to be somewhere for all this industry to ship freight to. Okay, great. We've solved another problem. Uh, one that could have, uh, well, it would have never been like that serious. But look at this. We should have tons. Oh, look at that. 1,500 uh, barrels of crude oil already. Great. Uh, and it should all be being sent over here and to Big Bastard. Fantastic. Uh, a couple of people mentioned, actually, um, Big Bastard probably needs to be renamed because now it's got this extra smokestack on it. So we could call it, like, I don't know, like, Huge Bastard. And, like, every time we upgrade it, we could just, like, iterate its name more. So it started off as Big Bastard. It's now Huge Bastard. And then eventually it can get to, like, uh, I don't know, like, Enormous Bastard or something. That, that might be quite fun. Uh, we'll just see, though. So so Huge Bastard for now, anyway. And uh, and we'll just see how, more, how much more it gets upgraded. Uh... These people need to get off of this road, too. This road should never have connected to this avenue like this. Because these people are just using it as, like, a bypass. We don't want them to use it as a bypass. Uh, this is just, like, a maintenance road for the oil fields and for this trade depot. Should feed onto this main avenue here, and that's fine. There shouldn't be too many traffic jams down here. Because the majority of people are going to want to come down this part of the avenue. Join onto the main avenue here. And, uh, and do some other stuff like that. Uh, and that should be fine. What's going on here? Sewage treatment. Are there problems with sewage treatment? There better fucking not be. I'll be so mad. Okay, no, it's fine. It's just water. All right, great. Uh, we've got some... Oh, God, it's not even Tech 2 uh, industry developing. There's a lot of these are still... Oh, no, that's Tech 2. Oh, most of these are. I guess maybe it'll build as a Tech 1 and then maybe upgrade to a Tech 2 eventually. That that should be fine, actually. That That should be fine. Uh, just ignore me. Uh, right. So we're still uh, we're still in the hole. Uh, sewage treatment is a bit of an issue. No, there's excess. Oh, look at all this shit. It's unbelievable how much shit, isn't it? Are we still accepting shit from San Francisco? You should. We should just see a really massive shit bubble coming down the road here at some point, if it's still accepting. I don't think we have the excess to do it. We've, pr we've probably cut off the deal for now. Uh, we're going to have to expand this, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> once again, look at this. 
We've got four cylinders to treat shit with now. My god, the excess is very good though. Uh, and now, actually, we should resume. There we go. Here comes San Francisco's little shit. There's only like 800 people, so it's just like one tiny little ball of shit that <laughs> eventually, every once in a while, comes down the road. Uh, not like the rest of this place, though. My god, look at this. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. It's it's a quite a cool view of all the shit like going into the uh, treatment plant, but also very disgusting. Um, it's very brown, like almost bordering red, like an unhealthy red, uh, considering the uh, subject matter. But, uh, but there you go. Okay, so we want another one of these. I think this worked out okay. Actually, traffic isn't like completely gridlocked right now. Um, man, we could use another one of these on the other side here too. Look at how congested this road gets. I never really thought that this road would get like as congested as it has been. But um, the streetcar coverage could extend down here because there are people coming down to work in these factories. I, I completely neglected that fact. Uh, for some reason, um, which is a bit of a shame. Look at this. Look at how congested this gets. Because it's just this like little high density road, feeder road that like doesn't really work that well. Okay, we're gonna knock out all this in the middle here and get some more streetcar coverage because that seems to be the way to go. Oh my god, fucking look at it, Jesus Christ. Um, let's do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, we've got more than enough money. We can do all this. It's absolutely fine. Uh, let's dezone anything uh, along the way that shouldn't be there, like all this crap. Get rid of this crap. Get rid of all this crap. Make sure that we don't knock down the school. Um, I need to replace the library as well. I completely, I almost completely forgot about that. Um, I just reminded myself like just now, luckily. Um, okay, great. Let's uh, let's do it then. We we won't knock down the buildings individually. All we'll do is knock down this road. Look at this. It's going to get rid of all the crap that we don't need there. Uh, clinic and basketball court. Oh god, the clinic's going to go. That's okay. We'll set it up somewhere a little bit better than where it is right now. It's not really in the best place. Okay. Uh, we now want a high-density streetcar avenue, and we're going to send the sucker right down the... Oh, look at this. Right to the end. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, that is fantastic. That's really good. Okay, uh, let's connect here. Let's also connect this away, and let's just make sure that everything that needs to be built in here can be built, uh, such as some residential there some there as well oh look we can build some residential along here as well that's that's quite good uh so we don't want anything facing the avenue so that it turns in and none of this stuff should actually this stuff should be fine it should be facing onto these roads and stuff so that's absolutely fine uh great okay we need some streetcar stops then to get the coverage up again we should have fairly good coverage by placing one here as well as oh are these i picked the right Oh, what's going on here? Look at this. It's like glitching out a little bit. Can I place it like further down? On top of road. Ugh. Did that not... Upgrade? Oh, uh, it did. <laughs> what's a high... Oh, uh, look at High density streetcar avenue suspension bridge. Oh, it's built a bridge. <laughs> what the hell? Why has it built a bridge? Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, it's because it's... Oh, I see. It's because it's, like, connected up. That's crazy. Oh, okay. We've got to get rid of this now. We do not want this to be a bridge. <laughs> that is crazy. No. Come on. Get out of here, bridge. We don't want... We don't want a bridge. Uh, we'll just make sure that we extend this back so that it doesn't go up and turn into a bridge. Like, to here. That, that's fine. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Good grief. Um... Where's the streetcars? Uh, streetcar named Desire in here. Uh, look at this coverage is like really good. It doesn't quite cover like this middle road here, but it's still very, very good. We're, we're getting like a lot better coverage than we were before anyway. And look at that. Riders per day has gone up quite a bit again as well. Uh, we're still in the hole a little bit, but not not too too much. It's not too much of a problem. Uh, some nice commercial developing up around here in this area, which is very good. Um, these are uh, low wealth uh, and heading up into into high density, so that's very good. A nice little commercial center there with the regional bus terminal right next to it. Look at how many people are traveling at this bus terminal every day. Ten thousand people, Jesus. Uh, population has taken a little bit of a shit because of uh, all the replanning that we've had to do. Um, totally necessary, though, uh, because the traffic problems were just uh, 
unbelievable, actually. They were just so, so bad. I think uh, the last hot spot that we're going to have to sort out here is going to be uh, in this industrial area. Uh, because we've got this one uh, avenue here, but we could really do with having another one on the other side so that this strip of road here doesn't get like massively congested. We don't want this to be too congested as well because freight deliveries are all coming to this trade depot. Uh, which has four delivery trucks. Okay, great. Look at all the industrial freight coming to the straight depot. God, it's like almost full. It's crazy. 64.8 crates of freight, and we're like half, half capacity already. Nuts. Um, okay, so I think if we're going to get another avenue down into industrial, uh, we could probably have it come down here, like along this road, which means getting rid of, uh, <laughs> what was that? Grifter products. Uh, fast pick manufacturing and uh, some of these big ones too which is a little bit of a problem actually these are big industry they're contributing a lot uh, to our money right now uh, that's okay we'll get it back though especially once this area starts to develop more uh, it'll be good uh, library god I almost forgot again can you believe it can you believe I almost forgot to place the public library down again we don't want it in this area of town though it's a bit of a shitty area of town I like, could do with being closer to the school maybe there's a couple little residences here that don't really need uh, to be there so let's place the library here on the other side of the basketball court great access to the school uh, place it along this like main road here there we go we're back we're back in business baby got we've got the uh, the libraries back what's going on here Oh, alloy reclamation. Holy shit, are we full on alloy? Oh my god, look at how much alloy we've got here. We've got 80 tons of alloy. And the reclamation line is full, too. Uh, do we want a little bit of a cash injection by selling some of this alloy? Or do we want to build processors, like, almost straight away? We've got everything that we need for processors. We should have more than enough plastic. Uh, if we're not actually exporting it all. I don't think we are. Are we exporting any plastic from here? Uh, manage, so plastics we are exporting and fuel we're exporting. So if we start stockpiling some plastics then, fine, great. So we're just exporting fuel now. Start uh, stockpiling a bit of plastic and then once we've got a nice supply of alloy and plastic, we'll set up a processor plant and then we'll, we'll make just like hundreds of thousands of big ones. God, it's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait. Um, how are we doing down here? Oh. Our approval rating has sunk. We're only level four. Can you believe it? Uh, we didn't take the upgrade after the natural disaster, though, the big earthquake. Oh, look at all the protesters. Get out of here, scum. <laughs> We're trying to have a good time in our mansion. Uh, circular fountain? Or maybe people might appreciate the barbecue patio a bit more, especially if they're protesting. They might want to have, like, a break and have a hot dog or, like, a burger or something. I know if I was protesting a lot... Uh, I would want to do that. I would definitely want to have like a hot dog or a burger. But on the same token, I might want to drink uh, some very clean uh, San Francisco water gushing out of this circular fountain. You know what? We're, we're doing it. We're going for the fountain. Oh, look at this fucker. Oh, my God. I love this. This 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 is the best building, by the way. It's so good. Um, getting to upgrade it and stuff like that is just awesome. Great. Um, okay, so... Uh, traffic oh <laughs> every time i looked at the traffic uh prior to this uh point in time it looked okay and now all of a sudden it's just gotten really bad again uh this seems to be part of the problem though the, the fact that everything is bunching up on this part of the avenue and then going down here and getting stuck uh it could really do with uh having another avenue on the other side and i think that might solve it for us so let's do that we'll do that right now very quickly uh, we need to dezone. Oh, look at that. We've clogged back a lot of that money too, which is very good. Uh, we need to dezone here. We need to dezone here and here as well, and just along here too. Uh, and then we can just come through here with the bulldozer, cut off access to like half the city, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, well, including including this half of the city as well. Come on, you bastards, get out of here. Oh, uh, we can't get rid of this because there's a fire truck. <laughs> sort of like it, it'll get stuck if we if we bulldoze it, which is a bit of a shame. We might be able to actually just do this, though. We might actually be able to just get... No, we can't. Look at that. Just all over the place. Do we want to have it just like come in here like all sloppy as hell? No. We should probably do it properly. We'll wait until the fire truck moves. We can't demolish a building while it's on fire either, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let's get rid of this. We'll just wait. 
Uh, we could probably upgrade this to streetcars too, actually, uh, while, while I think of it. Here we go. High density streetcar, high density streetcar, and streetcar as well. Okay, great. Let's, uh, let's get some stops. Streetcar stops, there we go. One there, and some extra coverage uh, here as well for, uh, I guess, this factory. What is this? Dice die cutting. Nice. Okay, uh, we should be able to get rid of this now. Great, we can get rid of all these too. Actually, we just get rid of these roads on the other side here as well. There we go, fine. Uh, we'll have it come right down the middle. Oh, there we go. This, oh, this is great. This is really gonna solve some problems for us, I think. Have that, like that, great. Oh, look at that, we've already got traffic coming in on this side as well. And look, there's like another connector down here too. Oh, what is this? Is that like unupgraded? John Smith, come on, get out of the way. Jesus, what the hell's your problem, John Smith? Oh, look at these. Some of these are still medium. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Got to have eagle eyes in this game. It's got to be said. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, streetcar stops. We need more. We need some more along here, too, so that these people can take streetcars to get to work. Great. Oh, look at the coverage. It's very good now. A lot of these people should be able to travel by streetcar to get to these industrial jobs. Not quite all of them, but at least better than they were able to before. Uh, so let's see. How are we doing? Uh, streetcar riders, about 30,000. That's just nearly ha nearing like half the population of Sip City. So not too bad. Alarms blare as a robbery is underway. Will the criminals get away with it? Oh, fuck. I hope not. I hope they don't get away with it. I hope uh, the boys in blue from Sipsco can, um, <laughs> can stop. I keep calling it Sipsco. I've got Sipsco on my mind. Don't ask me why. Um, let's, uh, let's make sure that we can get some more industrial in here. Not along the avenue, but like around here should be fine. Like this L shape and like here too. Anything that wants to can just like pop up around there. That, that should be absolutely fine. Um, let's just make sure that the dump is okay. Oh, look at that. So much air pollution, though. Are there any, like, cleaner alternatives to the incinerator? Like, I think you gotta re research all that stuff at the university. Uh, same with this stuff for, uh, huge bastard. Yeah, like this one, the clean oil generator. That's what we need to aspire to, because our air pollution is very bad in this city as well. Um, not to the point where it's, like, a massive problem, but, uh, it could, could become a problem, uh, before long. Okay, so... Uh, that's that second feeder avenue. Uh, our industry should be okay. We're back in the hole, but we're still maintaining our, uh, our bank balance. We've moved a lot of commercial over into this area, which we can expand out again. We've got a full depot uh, of alloy. We've also stockpiling some plastics up so that we can start making some processors, which will make us even more money eventually. Hopefully the traffic problems are somewhat sorted out. We're, morning rush hour is about to hit, so we can quickly watch this, see how we do. Uh, and then we'll wrap up there. So, here here we come. This is like crunch time. Morning rush hour. It's 6.30 in the morning. Lots of traffic is now generating. Uh, there's a couple of hot spots along this avenue up here, which is to be expected. Uh, but this really, really busy intersection is not doing too badly. We're just sort of dumping a lot of traffic out up this way. And, uh shit, is that... Oh no, it's streetcar stuff. Okay, I thought it was just like a bus. A lot of people will be trying to go to the college. We may need to relocate this college as well. Take it off the avenue and put it down like one of these other roads or whatever. But actually, uh, I gotta say, this is looking a lot better than it was. <laughs> just, just ignore this up here if you don't mind. Just pretend that's not happening. But the rest, my god, oh, look at this. The traffic is flowing very well. Look, I'll just sort of like angle a little bit so that we can't see the bad parts. Oh, we definitely cracked it. We've we've solved the whole thing. Okay, well, cut there. Bye. Uh, before it starts to get too red. No, it's not even getting red. Okay, fine. Uh, much better than it was anyway. Uh, three episodes ago, it was total gridlock. Now it's uh, flowing relatively well. A couple of little issues still, but we'll get back to them and fix them. Um, man, we're stockpiling a lot of resources. We got tons of money in the bank. We're doing okay considering uh, everything that's happened in the past couple of episodes uh, in terms of money. So, um, all in all, Sip City, uh, Sipswater Valley, San Francisco, all thriving, which is fantastic. You can't, you, you cannot ask for more. Um, okay, that's probably enough for now. Uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.